In this video, we are going to see how the basic setup of the Wing FC-10 flight controller is carried out. This controller is suitable for airplanes and flying wings. It can be found for a price of approximately 23 euros. We start by soldering a female XT-60 connector for the battery. We also solder another male XT-60 connector for the ESC. Lastly, we solder the pin tablet. On this controller, we can connect an FPV camera to the VCC and ground holes, which are on the penultimate row of the tablet. We can also connect a VTX video transmitter using the V-out battery, ground and TX4 holes. A FR Sky receiver with smart port can be plugged into the RX3 and SP0 holes. The ground and 5 volt wires are plugged in any available power holes. We can bind the Fly Sky FSIA6B and FSX6B receivers by PPM signal through channel number 1. Simply connect the serial cable to the RX3 hole. The ground and 5 volt wires are plugged in any available power holes. Remember to activate the PPM option on the Fly Sky transmitter. If we use a TBS crossfire receiver, we must use the TX5 and RX5 holes. The ground and 5 volt wires are plugged in any available power holes. We can install a GPS module using the RX2 and TX2 holes. The ground and 5 volt wires are plugged in any available power holes. It is noted that there is a hole for 3.3 volts and some GPS modules work well with that voltage. We can also install a buzzer using the BZ plus and BZ minus holes. There are four ports for servos, each one with the PWM signal, 5 volts and ground holes. The wires from the ESC are plugged into the first two rows of connectors. Note that all ESC for airplanes have three wires, the one in the middle being a 5 volt power wire. This controller is not powered by the ESC, but directly from the battery. Therefore, the middle wire of the ESC has to be cut. If we use an ESC for drones, it just has two wires. Without the 5 volts wire, we move on to the software configuration. We start by downloading the iNav configurator and installing the drivers to connect the PC with the flight controller. For the drivers, we can use the Zadig software. We can also download the Impulse RC driver fixer software. When executing this software, it installs the necessary drivers for the communication of the PC with the controller. Once the software finishes the operations, we check on the devices and printers page of the PC that we have a STM32 bootloader device. We are going to update the firmware of the flight controller to the latest version available. We need a USB to micro USB type cable capable of data transmission. We press the bind button and connect the cable from the flight controller to the PC. We see that the blue light does not blink. So the controller entered into the read-write mode. The steps to update the firmware are shown. When using Fly Sky receivers and FR Sky receivers, we have to choose the UART3 as the serial port for the communication between the receiver and the flight controller. For GPS modules, UART2 is used, and we must change the baud rate to 57,600. On the contrary, if we use a long-range TBS crossfire receiver, we must choose UART port 5 as the serial port. We are going to work with a Fly Sky receiver. Thus, in the iNav configurator, we must select the channel map as AETER and the receiver mode as PPM. In the Mixer tab, 
We must remove one of the engines if our plane is not twin engine. As we do not have a GPS installed yet, we have set the fail safe in drop mode. If we set a different mode without having a GPS, we will not be able to arm the plane. On a day with winds of up to 25 km per hour, we tested the flight modes with acro stabilization and angle stabilization and compared them with the behavior of the plane in the manual mode. It is noted that all trims of the aircraft's control surfaces must be carried out in the INAV configurator. In the radio transmitter, the settings, endpoints, channels reversing, mixes and other configuration must be set at factory settings. Therefore, the servo rods must have the right and exact length so that their neutral position is the one that makes the plane fly in a stable way. On this controller, the internal voltage regulator is 5 volts and 3 amps. If the amperage of all the connected devices is higher than 3, we should derive some of the 5 volt wires together with the ground wire to an external battery equipped with its own voltage regulator. That is, we can power, for example, the signal transmitter and the camera outside the controller. Either we can power all servos outside the controller. This is necessary. As we don't have enough 5 volt and ground holes to power all the devices that can be connected simultaneously. And this is all for now. This project will be continued in a next video. Thank you.